Hey guys, it's Aji. Today we're going to try new lip products and this time it's going to be the ones from Focalure and it's their Watery Glow Lip Gloss. It has 2.5 grams and you can get it for 169 pesos. This product claims to contain three plant extracts, gives the lips an instant plumping effect, and has 16 different shades to choose from. Another feature I also really like about this product is its silicone brush applicator. This allows you to use the lip gloss on top of other lip products and if some of those products get on the applicator, you can just wipe it off making things clean and hygienic. This is how the product applies. I found that it's easier to apply it in one direction rather than going back and forth and it lets you achieve the most even looking lips. And although different shades have varying levels of thickness and comfort, I found that they all seem to have a self-leveling property after application. So now let's talk about the different gloss styles that this product has to offer. First is the natural glossy finish which is just the lip gloss itself and nothing added. All of the shades under this finish or category have pigmented bases. Next are the shimmer glosses, which are just the lip glosses mixed with very fine shimmer mica powder, which adds a little bit more sparkle to your lips when worn. The last one is the glittery glossy finishes, which have a more lighter, sheerer base compared to the other two. And this one, rather than having a fine shimmer, has larger glittery chunks instead. And these large shimmers are also duochrome, which means that the colors shift depending on the lighting and angle from which you looked at it. It's definitely my favorite category. Now here are a couple of lip swatches and the complete arm swatch for the product.
I did the layer test to see what would happen if I did thin layers of the products on my lips. And as you can see, applying a smaller amount of product helps you achieve a dewy lip effect where it's not completely shiny but your lips just look very very moisturized. And applying more gives you a high gloss effect where the lips look very plump and really really reflective. I also love using two glosses together so I did this gradient test so you guys can see that you can definitely do an ombre or gradient lip with this product. Here I applied Nude 00 all over the lips first and then applied PK02 on the innermost part of my lips. And after blending these products together, you can see that I easily achieved the glossy gradient lips. This application style combined with the high gloss finish of the products really gives the lips a very plump and juicy look. This is something you should definitely try out if you're into gradient or Korean looking lips like me. I'll try to keep this review short by saying that I love the extensiveness of the shades. They all look nice and you can get them in different finishes. I definitely think that they can expand the shades by adding a bit more browns because I love the brown 01 but overall I'm really satisfied with the shades. As for the texture, I found it hard to swatch these lipsticks as they are quite thick. Like I mentioned, applying them in one direction only helps but I think it can be improved. In terms of comfort, I'm really used to these high gloss products feeling a little sticky but it is something that may be off-putting to someone not used to thick glosses like these so just take note of that. Lastly, the clear bottles with holographic stickers as packaging, chef's kiss. I really like it and I think the choice of a silicone brush tip is really smart. Overall, this is how I would rate the products. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As per usual, if you like the content of this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment on what product you guys want me to review next. See you guys in my next video. Bye!